Okay, so I'm going to try this drone deploy app, which is like a high resolution uh, aerial mapping basically. So, what I've had to do is totally get rid of DJI Go uh, as it was conflicting with drone deploy, so I've erased DJI Go to start with. Let's see if we can find where we are. So, we'll turn on GPS, that's on, mobile data's on. Okay, so we're going to plan a new flight. Uh, we'll call this field test. Okay. Right. So the cloud fields in front of us. That's what we want to put the map on. So we'll start about there. We'll map this little area of the field. Ooh. Okay, so that's the area we want to map. Okay, so the altitude is currently set at 247 feet. We'll bring that down a bit. So we'll do it about 100 and 130, 140 feet, something like that. That'll do. Okay, right, we'll fire the Phantom 3 up. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll save that flight. So that's saved. We'll select it. <clears throat> so hopefully in a second this is going to show that the aircraft is connected ok, so we need to ok that select ok Okay, so it's telling us that drone is connected. Drone's warming up. Okay, I've selected the failed test that we've just saved. Zoom out a little bit. Still waiting for the drone to warm up. Right, so saying the drone is connected. This is the scary part. So I'm going to tap the little aircraft button. So the mode switch is in correct position. If you've recently updated firmware, switch to F mode. Okay. <coughs> So that's Andy, and so what's told me is if I need to switch the to F mode, and if I need to take control of the aircraft, switch it back to P, so that's always handy to know. Uh, so all checks passed, it's all clear, so if it's clear to go, we're going to hit the little tick button, and hopefully we'll take off. There we go. <laughs> Okay, and off it goes.
Okay, so we can see various things down the left hand side under the dashboard. We've got batteries 88%. Uh, it's taken zero pictures so far. It's already ascended to 154 feet. Zoomed off there at 19 miles an hour. It's still set, still got visual on it. So it's shooting off to its start point. Okay, so it's arrived at its first point by the looks of it. It's just doing a quick turn. And here it goes. Okay, so you can see just above my head the image, just, just up there. It's taking its back to take pictures. It doesn't show it's taken any images yet. Okay, so it's a 90 degree turn. It goes on the second leg. There we go, hopefully it'll fly straight back to me now.
Okay, so, although it didn't show it had taken any pictures, it didn't appear to have taken any images, it says, it says that it has. So, we'll head home, we'll stick the SD card in the computer and uh, see what's happened. Okay, so we're back home, we're logged into Drone Deploy. So, I'm going to whip out the SD card and see if we've got anything. Okay, so we'll select field test. That's what we did. Let's go back to upload. Uh, select photos. So we need to select them from the SD card, don't we? Nothing. Nothing in there at all. As I suspected then, it didn't actually capture all the images. It's flowing the mission absolutely fine as it should have done. It just didn't actually take any pictures at all. So there's nothing to upload. But we'll, uh, we'll try again another day.